what are you getting done today, man? You got a lot of hair. Yeah, so what I usually do is like taper fade, but I'm trying to do something different. So okay. I want to take more length off the sides. So, so bring the sides in yeah. with a high taper mm -hmm. and uh, bring it in in the back as, as well. You and can cut it off, like I said, like cut this big chunk because it lays down flat. See, I got a, uh, an idea. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it, man. YouTube, what's going on guys? So my guy here, he came all the way from Texas. It's his birthday and his his wife wanted to surprise him, man, and um, bring him out to Florida for a vacation. And uh, while he was here, I got to bless him with a fresh cut. And so if you listen to the consultation, I know a lot of you guys like to skip that, but it's a very important part, I believe, and that's why I, I, I try to leave consultations in. He wanted it to be flatter, laid down a little bit on the sides, but keep some of the curls on the side with a high taper. So that's exactly what we did, and we did most of it with clipper over comb, um, and now we're going to go ahead and start the taper. So I started off with the blade open in this case because I... I couldn't see like how dense his hair was like like are there any light areas and so like you can see um as i'm i'm you know taking out that bottom line where his corners are where his hairline is it looks a little bit lighter so i'm taking my time right now i'm gonna debulk i'm using a number three guard i'm coming off the shape that i that i want to create i'll do it behind the ears as you can see, I go with the grain in some, like wherever I don't want to go too short, I'll go with the grain first. Underneath that number three, I went ahead and started using the one and a half guard. And little by little, I make my way towards his hairline. And I feel pretty confident now that it's, it's dense enough to create a nice balanced taper. And so at this point, I'm just kind of fading down, going down each guard level um, until it's blended. So we did the one and a half guard, the one guard open. Now we're using the half guard. Right underneath that, we'll take the guard off and start to blend it out. And then we're gonna go in detail. Now the reason why this side was so complicated as far as steps is again, it's my first time cutting his hair. It's so outgrown, like this is a transformation, right? His hair was so long and I've never cut his hair before. I don't know the characteristics of his hair, his head shape, his hair density. And so that's why I made so many extra steps on this side of taper. But what you'll notice is I've, I've gained some confidence here. So the side taper on the other side and the back taper, I'm going to, I'm going to be pretty confident throughout there. And also like this side, I feel like I started with the most difficult side. You're going to see later on in the tutorial, I'm going to go back and have to detail something, um, especially looking at it from a different angle. And I'll point that out a little bit later. So stick around. All right, so let's go ahead and start this back taper. Starting out with our first initial guideline and right below that, balled it out with the shaver. Now we're using our cordless seniors all the way open. And so this is gonna be our first section that we start to blend out. So I'm gonna start all the way closed and open it up probably, probably in thirds until it's all the way blended. And I just got the original fade blade on this one. This is a clipper that Wall sent me as a gift. And you, I don't know if you noticed, but on the side, it has my, my name engraved. All right, so now we have the number one guard all the way open. And this is our next section. So we're gonna blend this section out with that half guard, starting all the way open and closing as needed until that, that line of demarcation that we created with the blade open is gone. You might need to take that guard off and just use the blade, the corner of the blade, to 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 erase that line and make it more of a, a better you know transition.
And once again, guys, shout out to my cousin Tito Beats. If you guys are looking for Beats, man, he is offering a subscription service where you get five brand new royalty free beats every single month. I think there's another package where you can get it without the the his the intro, the Tito Beats Productions. Like I would keep it. I think it's dope. Another one? You know what I mean? Like that's that's dope. Alright, so um we're using our number three guard now just to be be bulk and flatten the sides a little bit more. But not just that, we're gonna go behind the ears and just make sure it flows into the sides as well. And so this is gonna prepare it. For, to finish this whole transition so now we have our number two guard it's all the way open and we're just gonna blend down from here to finish this neck taper underneath the two guard we're gonna go with the one and a half guard start off all the way open close it as needed and this is pretty much the final step we'll go back in detail maybe with the one guard and then the, just you know the half guard or something um, and I think it's kind of necessary to do that detailing but go through the steps first and then detail it's really hard to do that um you got to stay disciplined um and not you know because sometimes we want to just get everything done make it look picture perfect the first go around and it, it's it's hard to do it to do it man like we're human you know and that's why the mirror is important that's why when you when something looks flawless from the human eye and everybody around you will tell you it looks fire then you take a picture of it and you're like damn i missed that spot or it's in front of the camera like i'll look at my camera and i'll be like damn that's not looking as good as i thought it looked good but then when you look at it in the camera it don't and i mean there's people at hair shows and stuff that will say it looks better in person the haircuts but that's one of the, the better parts of recording your work even if you're not doing tutorials it helps you see things that you wouldn't you wouldn't have seen otherwise you know what i'm saying and just helps you improve your game that black coming out stupid look at that sheesh and then the shape from the you can see the shape yeah all right so on this side we're gonna go with the grain first lay it down I'm going to jump straight to that one and a half guard and just clear most of this bulk and just kind of carve into that shape. Now we have the two, the two guard all the way open, close it as needed. I'm sorry. Yeah. Two guard. Now it's closed. And now we have the three guard. Okay. Now that I've, I've, I've created that tr transition into the longer length, it's going to be real easy to do this, this high taper. And again, I'm so much more confident at this side because I'm familiar with his hair now. So I created my initial guideline. We're gonna bald it out with the shaver. And now we're just gonna go through our steps. Blade open, blend that out. Number one open, blend that out. Detail. And then we're gonna line them up. But look at the shape of the cut. Look at how it flows on the side to the back behind the ears it's not too dark everything is flat like he asked for in the back i think it's coming out dope i think it's coming out decent Yeah, so at this point, we're just doing a lot of detail work and just trying to get the cut to the next level. Probably, you know, behind the scenes, check the camera a few times and just looking for, for, for spots I can clean up. And now the lineup, watch. Watch how this just goes next level. My favorite part. 
Sheesh. Damn, I think. So the last tutorial I dropped was a intimidating hair texture that I was really trying to finesse and get, get to look as good as possible. This is that hair texture. You get excited, you take your time on, and you just want it to just, just come out fire. So this is the part I was talking about earlier that needed work. From the, from the angle, from the back, it looked too dark there. So we're gonna go in and try to lighten that up and make that transition behind the ear um, look better. And I, I tried just about everything to get it to get it to look as good as possible. Blending shears, number two, one and a half. But look how much better that looks. In my opinion, it looks a lot better. So me and Brandon, we, we was talking a lot, man. He he's got a lot of aspirations, a lot of dreams. Um, his wife is is in the beauty industry as well, and um, they got goals, they got plans, man. So we were definitely having having a conversation, one of empowerment, one of 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 you know, just sharing just sharing that that growth talk. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't have these conversations with everybody. You can't sometimes. Sometimes the people closest to you are the wrong people to, to have these these talks with because they'll tell you things, man, that, you know, you can't be a prophet in your own land. So it's nice to have these conversations for not just not just people like Brandon, but everyday clients in general, man. They look to their barber to have these conversations they can't have at home. So shout out to Brandon, man. He's got a lot of big goals and dreams, man. All I can say is go for it man you got nothing to lose go for it man but we put the color on there to enhance the cut not to fix it look at the after sheesh you guys saw the cut before the color so you know it was blurry before you know it was clean before but i love the look it's unique it's a dope look man Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like the cut, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that next tape.